Well, by the time you've been in seventh grade, you've had lots of teachers, so I need to take a moment to teach you how to be my students. And when I teach seventh graders, I expect them to follow through with a strategy called what, everyone? Slant. And what slant does, it summarizes what you need to do in class. Uh, and S stands for what, everyone? Sit up. So I need everybody sitting up. Now, there's a reason for that. As soon as you sit up, you are much more likely to be a learner, much more likely to be present. And I look out at you and I think, oh, oh gifted one. Ooh, really brilliant. Ooh, definitely brilliant. So just doing that sends a message to your teacher that you're present, you're ready to learn, and you're very smart. L stands for what, everyone? Listen. listen. Of course, I expect you to listen to me, but also uh, to your peers in class. And A stands for two things. First is what, everyone? Ask and also answer. So in seventh grade, there's two kinds of questions you might have. If the question is what I call a public question where the answer is helpful to everyone in the room, then raise your hand high and I'll call on you during the lesson because the answer would help everyone. Questions such as maybe you want me to define a word, that would be an excellent public question. Or maybe you're not sure of the page number, that would be a great public question. So everybody show me public question. Raising your hand, raising your hand, okay, good. And, however, if you have a private question such as, can I sharpen my pencil? Uh, can I go to the restroom? Uh, can I get a drink of water? Of course, as seventh graders, you'd never interrupt the lesson with those questions, but just put your hand on your heart and I will come to you privately to respond to that. Okay, so get ready to show me public or private. I am teaching a lesson and you want me to explain the directions again. Show me public or private. I definitely think that's public, because if she doesn't understand the direction, someone else doesn't, hands down. I am teaching a lesson, and you want to know if Friday will be a long day or a shortened day. And show me what that definitely, oh, we wouldn't interrupt the lesson for that, though everybody might be interested. Uh, put your hands down. So I'm teaching a lesson, and I gave some directions that were very confusing. And so if she wanted them explained, show me if it would be public or private. Public. Excellent. Well, that's why you're seventh graders. You got that significantly faster than any group today. Give yourself a tally mark. So answer. What does that mean? Well, here's what it doesn't mean. When I teach and I ask a question, in my class students don't raise their hands. So when I ask a question, you will not raise your hand. I know that seems un-American, probably un-Oregonian, uh, but we're not going to raise our hands. We're going to do some other things instead. One thing we're going to do is when the answers are short, we're going to say the answers together. Now, I notice that a number of you are in band. Raise your hand if you are taking band. Excellent. I'm very impressed. Wonderful. I might have to come over and bring my clarinet and come to band class. Uh, but you know how your orchestra or band director directs you. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Here's how I'm going to direct you. Uh, I'll ask a question. I'll put up my hands. This says think, don't say anything. And then when I lower my hands right there, you'll say the answer. So for example, everybody, what month is it? It is December. December. Now remember, this is think, and sometimes it might be up there for a while. Uh, and uh, the day of the week today is? Monday. Perfect. You got it right away. Give yourself a tally mark for getting that instantly. Many times you are going to say answers to partners and I'm going to give you a partner and I expect no matter who your partner is as a learning community, you will be very kind to them. And one, two partners, one, two partners, one, two partners. And one, two partners, one, two partners, one, two partners. And over here, one, two partners, one, two partners, one, two. And one, two partners, and one, two. Now the reason I put you here is we have an odd number, and you are a one, and they're both twos. So you're going to have to listen to both of them. Okay, so everybody, turn and stare at your partner. Raise your hand if your number is one. Good. Raise your hand if you're a two. Raise your hand if you're a one. Raise your hand if you're a one. Uh -huh. All right. So, and if I had the gift of having this partner, 
uh, I would look at my partner, lean a little towards my partner, and whisper. Look, lean, whisper. Say it, everybody. Look, lean, whisper. And ones, pretend you're saying an answer to a partner, show me what you'd look like. Looking, leaning, whispering, excellent. Oh, my JC. Thanks. And, oh, excellent job. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Well, so A stands for both. Ask and what, everyone? Answer. And N stands for two things in seventh grade. And the first one is what, everyone? Not. Here is the secret. You do it well. The secret of being a brilliant student is when you understand something or you agree with the teacher, you give a little intelligent nod. Let me see it. Hey? See, the teacher's looking at, oh, gosh, so attentive, so gifted, who's so smart. Now, you don't want to spend the whole period, mm -hmm. uh, just a little nod here and a little nod there. Uh, and this takes you right into college. Uh, so you're listening to that prof, and give me an intelligent nod. They're thinking you're so smart. Uh, and as seventh graders, sometimes, and we'll do it in this lesson, you might write something down. You might take a what, everyone? A, a note. Last thing, T is for what, everyone? Track. This just means that you need to keep track of the teacher. So if I'm speaking and I'm here, your eyes are perfectly on me. Excellent, JC. If I walk over this way, uh, your eyes are again on me. Excellent. Uh, so you keep track of the teacher. Well, I want you to take a moment uh, and look this over because in a moment, either ones or twos, you won't know which one, are going to have to tell your partner what each letter stands for. So give it a little study. Okay, ones. Without peeking, tell your partner what each letter stands for. Twos, if they miss one, help them out. Go. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. Perfect. Excellence over here. Good. Okay, eyes up here. Let's see if everybody has it. S is for what, everyone? Sit, Sit up. up. L is for listen. listen. Perfect. A is for ask, ask and answer. answer. Excellent. N is for no. nod and no. no. And T is for trap. Now, if you begin to like slump down, because it's in the day, I'll just say, give me a little slant, and you'll know that you need to sit up, listen, ask and answer, nod and note, and track. 